Hi, this is Sharon with another helpful tip to help you achieve more well-being in your life. And this week's tip is a mindset hack to help you overcome anxiety when those unwanted thoughts creep in. Has this ever happened to you? You're getting ready to go for a trip. So excited. You've got your list. You're packing everything up. And all of a sudden, you start thinking of every possible scenario, everything that can go wrong. There's a plane crash. There's a car crash. There's a flat tire. There's botch reservations. We forgot something. Someone became ill and we had to change our plans. And it just goes on and on and on like a snowball rolling downhill. Just every horrible thing that can, what if we're kidnapped? All of these thoughts come rushing in and all of a sudden, you feel as if you are a thermometer and it's just rising up the heat higher and higher through your being till you feel like you're just going to pop. All because of these unwanted thoughts. Where do they come from? Why do we do this? And not only now are you all wigged out and the whole feeling of the event is dampened, for you, but also the people around you. It just doesn't end well. Well, here's one little hack, five little words that can help you overcome this anxiety from these unwanted thoughts. Five little words. What can go right today? What can go right today? Ask yourself that question because what your mind is telling you are all the things that can go wrong. So flip it around to what can go right. Each time I begin to spiral out of control, and I, I do sometimes, even though I've worked really hard on it, I'll say those five little words, what can go right today? It's almost, it's become so automatic now that it doesn't get to the boiling point. The thermometer never gets to where I'm about to pop because I recognize it and I'm able to change those thought patterns and those thought habits. And consequently, I don't go there as often. I don't even allow those thoughts in because I'm like, nope, what can go right today? And I start naming it. Name it, give gratitude for it, and leave it. So let's look at our examples from before. Before we do that, I want to mention though, we are going to do a brief meditation at the end of this talk on what can go right today. So stick around for that. So how does it work? Ask yourself one question, what can go right today? Answer the question, give thanks, and then leave it. So taking our um, examples from the beginning, what can go right today? We arrive at our destination safely. Thank you that we arrive at our destination safely. What can go right today? Our vehicle functions perfectly. We have no malfunctions. And thank you so much for our vehicle that gets us from point A to point B safely. What can go right today? Our flight was beautiful. We had beautiful views out the window. It was uneventful and our luggage was there and it was just a great day. Thank you for such a great travel day. I am so happy and grateful for this travel day. Well, what can go right today? We have all we need with us. All our needs are met. Thank you that all our needs are met. What can go right today? We are happy, healthy, and safe. Thank you that we are happy, healthy, and safe. Ask the question, name it, give gratitude, and leave it. Now the leave it part, that's going to be, that's probably the most challenging part because these thoughts tend to circle around the block and come back around. Just repeat. When that happens, just repeat again. What can go right today? This can go right. Thank you that this can go right. Leave it again. And the more you do that, the less it'll circle the block and come around and, and pick at you some more. This simple exercise can become a habit, a thought habit. 
whenever these uneasy thoughts creep in. This is not to ignore intuition though. That's important to note. But know the difference between everyday anxiety and true intuition. And trust that you'll know the difference. If there was ever danger presence, you would know the difference. But here's another thing. Things do happen. Flat tires happen. Things get lost. It's probably not going to be a plane crash or a car crash. Although those things do happen too. But usually the it's minor. It's an inconvenience. And this is another opportunity for you to change your thought habits. So if that sort of thing tends to frustrate you or shut you down or cause a reaction that does not serve you, take a deep breath, make a plan, and move on. So if you have a flat tire, take a breath and deal with it. If your flight is canceled, look at the, the, um, the possibilities in that. Oh, well, we get to go out to eat tonight or, you know, look for the good in it. Name what can go right. Our flight will be back on schedule tomorrow. Thank you that we'll be back on schedule tomorrow. And thank you. We have this extra time together and leave it. Know in the end that everything will work out. It is in our reaction to adversity that determines whether it takes us down or we're able to move through it. So kind of getting off a little bit here, but you have a choice. You have a choice in how you respond to any given situation. The power of the mind is great. The power of the mind is great and it's meant to be used for you, not against you. But we're getting off into another entire talk right now. That's another topic for another day. But let's get back to our talk for today. What can go right today? So try on the magic of these five little words. What can go right today? I'll share a personal story with you on how this came about. I'm a hiker, a backpacker, and I've traveled hundreds of miles, and a lot of those miles were solo. So it's just me, myself, and I out there in the middle of the woods by ourselves, which is great. It's great meditation time and all. But at some point, my mind will start working overtime, and I'll start thinking of every possible bad thing that can happen. I fall. I don't have cell service. I can't get myself warm. I get hypothermic. It, bad weather comes in. A tree falls on my tent. I spring my ankle and I have to stop my trip early. I get lost. I starve to death. and th yeah, it's, I can't get water. I have a heat stroke. I mean, every single thing just in my mind, it's just coming at me like this, like a movie. I'm seeing it. And I said, stop, I cannot. So I started asking myself every morning, what can go right today? And as I would hike along, I would name all the things that could go right today. Today I stay upright. Thank you that I stay upright today. Today the weather is great. Thank you that the weather is great. Today I, I don't <laughs> twist anything. Thank you, I don't twist anything. Thank you that today is a great hiking day. So, and I, in saying that, I, want, I do want to, I, I don't want to paint the picture that, oh, you say everything's going to be great. Everything's going to be great. It is a mindset and it, it, it does work that way in many ways, but things happen. And this is a good example of how to listen to your instincts. So I was on the trail and this bad storm was coming in all day. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep hiking. I'm going to keep hiking. But I came to a point where I had to make a decision to go on or call a hostel to get picked up and get off because the weather was really getting nasty. So I did not, at that point, I knew intuitively it's time to get off the trail and I'll get back on tomorrow. And so thank you for my intuition. 
that wasn't my, that wasn't the, um, everything can go wrong today talking. That was a true situation happening. And I knew to get off the trail. I was able to get off the trail. And the next day there were trees down everywhere. So, and I had a great hiking day the next day. So things work out. So what can go right today with you? Well, maybe you have a presentation. And so what can go right today? My presentation goes amazing today. I am clear, articulate, and I draw no blanks. <laughs> and thank you that my presentation went well today. I was clear and articulate. Thank you. Perhaps you are going for an interview. So what can go right today? My interview goes well. I answer the questions. I'm confident and clear and articulate. Thank you that I did well on my interview. So whatever, you fill in the blank. What can go right today? The power of thought energy is great. Remember, thoughts are things. Thoughts are energy. So what are you thinking? Always be aware of what's going on in your mind. Sometimes it's not as easy as we would like it to be, and our thoughts run rogue. And they don't help us, they hinder us. They're out of control. In these cases, focus your energy, focus your thoughts back to what you want to happen. What is the best outcome or experience? What can go right? Name it, give gratitude, and leave it. Okay, we're going to move now to our brief meditation on what can go right today. I first want to refer you, though, to a recent video I did. It was how to, the name of the video is how to connect with your guides, hear your inner guidance, hear your inner voice. In this video, I talked about knowing the difference between your ego and your guides or your inner voice or your inner guidance, whatever you want to call it, but know the difference between that and your ego. And so I just want to say before we get started that if you are having, if you, your answers are coming up unsettling, mocking, unkind, that is probably your ego trying to derail you. Your inner voice, your guides, your inner guidance, whatever you want to call it, is going to be kind and loving. So I just wanted to say that before we got started. If your answers are unsettling in this meditation, it could be your ego messing with you. If there's something truly dangerous in a tr situation, trust that your intuition will let you know trust that you will know for sure. And we're going to move into our meditation on what can go right today. So go ahead and become comfortable. We won't be here long, but go ahead and prop yourself up with pillows if you need, blanket, whatever makes you comfortable. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Continue to breathe mindfully throughout the meditation. I'm going to say an opening prayer. We surround ourselves with a bubble of white light, a bubble of love and light. And just envision that beautiful bubble of love and light surrounding you. And breathe. Continue to breathe. I am thankful for this time to know myself, to learn, to grow. I am thankful for this time to heal, to become aware. I am thankful for this time to be, to be. And three breaths.
and ask yourself, what can go right today? Continue to slowly inhale and exhale while you pause. You may visualize an answer. You may feel an answer. You may hear an answer. Or you just may answer it yourself. Give thanks for whatever you see, hear, or feel. And ask again, what can go right today? Visualize, feel, hear. You may have all of those or you may have one. Or you just may answer it with your own voice. Give thanks for the answer. Continue asking this question as many times as you feel it necessary. You may have as many as 10 things that can go right today. When you feel the energy subsiding, and this will come with practice, or after you aren't receiving any more information, then we'll move to close. But I'm going to remain quiet and allow you to continue asking the question, what can go right today? What can go right today? What can go right today? And we'll move to close now. You can return to this meditation whenever you wish. I am thankful for this connection. I am thankful for this awareness. I am thankful and blessed. Peace, love, and light to all. Namaste.